Hello guys, welcome to my new Cheng Cheng Impact video. Guys, in this video, we are going to talk about the artifact sets for the Rayo Thessaly. We know the couple of things about the Rayo Thessaly gameplay and the talents and overall his kit. So I'm just gonna talk about the artifact set just that gonna suit his kit that are already in the game so you can start grinding now if you don't want Lene or Lenet or any other character and you are aiming for the Rio Thessaly so you can actually start grinding right now in the game first of all try to understand the Rio Thessaly kit he's basically cryo Hu Tao but a catalyst Hu Tao why I'm saying this the build is purely depends on the HP percentage that the higher your Huta having the HP the higher your Huta deals the damage if we go here everything is related on the HP here you can see uh, everything is related HP and also Huta have one of the talent that gives her crit rate the pyro damage according to the HP percentage when the Huta's HP is equal to or less than 50%. Her pyro damage bonus is increased by 33%. Same concept is happening with the Rio Thessaly. So basically, Rio Thessaly performs normal attack and, and charge attack just like Hu Tao. In and he punches the enemy. He's doing the all fist fighting like a like the Taken style, similar to the word Taken. We used to play the Taken game. So he's doing the normal attack, charge attack, and in ult he's doing the same damage as Hu Tao does. Hu Tao does a kind of uh, one hit damage. Same he's doing with the ultimate. Ultimate he's doing the one hit damage, some kind of a AOE damage. Whenever he's getting the buff, he's getting in terms of the attack percentage, not the uh, pyro damage bonus and something like that. So if the HP is uh, the whole build depends on the HP purely HP percentage that's gonna convert it into attack percentage. So yes, attack is also important and HP is also important. In Ascension, Rio Thessaly is getting crit damage bonus. Yes, he's gonna getting crit damage in the Ascension, this crit damage. And in the signature weapons of Rio Thessaly, he's getting crit rate. And one more thing, keep in mind, he's a pure nuke cryo character, no reaction, nothing. You don't need to do any reaction with Rio Thessaly, plus it's, he's going to be a pure nuke raw cryo damage dealer. So now we'll talk about the artifact sets that are already in the game. One of the most famous sets that are already in the game and we use for Ayaka, that is Blizzard. Blizzard is one of my favorite set and it, it's just amazing. In two pieces, it it gives crowd damage bonus, and in four pieces, it gives up to forty percent crit rate. That is just insane. Crowd new character doesn't need any uh, elemental bonus or some kind of other bonuses. So why not give them a crit rate? A perfect crit rate going to be very very good. Some of the artifacts also, and the team com and the cryo resonance also gives you crit rate so that means the crit rate is going to be very important when you're building a cryo character so blizzard set is going to be the one option and it's a very good option matches with the kit and matches with the real thesley gameplay it's just good another two artifacts are the new artifacts in the game that you can go and check it out here this is the new artifact set in the game normal and charge attack damage bonus 15 percent that is very good as i already told you he's doing all the normal attack and charge attack damage whole time so this is going to be very very good and the four piece also matches with the kit when current hp increases or decreases crit rate will be increased by 12 percent for five second AQ and you can stack this three times so you can get up to 36 percent crit rate with this artifacts and 15% normal and charge rate bonus. This is very very similar to what we are getting with the blizzard. Blizzard we are getting the 15% cryo damage bonus and 40% crit rate. So yes, both sets are equally good that you can use. Another set is this. This is also good. Increases elemental skill damage by 20% and increases elemental skill by damage by 25% additionally when not on the field 
further increase by 25 so this is not going to be that good but it is usable because maximum damage you're gonna deal with the elemental skill definitely but i don't recommend this artifact so if you're planning to do no this is going to be the one artifact and this is going to be the second artifact for rio Thessaly. another artifact is in the game and it's also very very good this is going to be the also very good artifact for rio Thessaly. It's uh, uh, it's a Sumeru artifact. It comes in the Sumeru region. In two pieces, it increases your 20% HP, and HP is all always good for Rio Thessaly. Elemental skill damage and elemental skill and burst damage will be increased by 10% after the equipping character takes damage. The aforementioned damage bonus increased by 80% for five seconds, and even you can stack this five times. Every stack is counted every stack duration is counted independently and this effect can be triggered even the equipping character is not on the field so you know you know that doesn't make any sense because you are just going to be on the field all the time but this is going to be very very good in my opinion this artifact is also going to be very very good so if you're planning to build or grind for real Tesla, you can start by doing this domain and doing the blizzard domain the og cryo domain that domain going to be very very good this domain next side effect guys it's also a option for real Thessaly, not the best option but yes yeah, it's an option for real Thessaly. it's a uh, echoes of an offering it's also good on child ayato uh, the characters that do the, you know deals with the normal attacks when normal attack hits opponent there's a 36 percent chance that will it will trigger a valley right will increase which in which will increase normal attack damage by 70 percent of the attack this effect will be dispelled 0.05 second after normal attack deals damage if the normal attack fails to trigger valley right next time it will increase by 20 percent as this trigger can occur once every two 0.2 second this is also an option but the best options are the only two options that i already told you this the blizzard and the second one is the, this one these two options are going to be very very good and i don't know if the when the duo Thessaly came maybe a new artifact set going gonna come but i think this artifact set is per matches perfectly with the real Thessaly uh, kit so they don't need to add any additional artifact for especially for real Thessaly. i think this artifact matches perfect perfectly with the kit of real Thessaly. Guys, these artifact sets are going to be very, very good for Rio Thessaly. Uh, you can start grinding right now in the game. Just aim for the HP percentages, crit rate, crit damage. Keep in mind, he's getting 88% crit damage in the Ascension. So you need to find a little crit rate. 60% crit rate is going to be the minimum requirement for the Rio Thessaly as he's doing lots and lots of normal attacks and the charge attack. Okay well, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you like it. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the future. Till then, bye bye. Take care.